What's up, Kitakubers? Kita Sean here. So, we're gonna go ahead and do a collab quest for Monster Strike with the Mickey Mouse collab. And all these quests are Monster Strike monsters dressed up as Disney villains, which is really cool. And this is basically the reason why you're doing this collab because you don't get stuff like this that often. So, Kiskurita, who is a really strong monster from a uh, from a gacha in this game, a limited gacha, and um, she's dressed up as uh, Ursula from The Little Mermaid, which is amazing. Like, everyone was super hyped about this because Kiskurita, a very popular monster, voiced by Hanazawa Kana, she came back to do the voice for Ursula version, or villain Kiskurita, as titled. And, um, yeah, dude, she, she's so cute. <laughs> uh, we'll talk about her stats and everything um, after the quest, but uh, the main gimmick for this quest is uh, blocks and damage wall. The damage wall you don't have to really worry about too much, but uh, they do uh, do pretty, a pretty decent amount of damage, so definitely try to be careful of them. But uh, try to maybe focus on um, anti-blocks because the damage wall they are shot out separately, so they're like, grr, grr, it's like maybe like 25% of the, the walls. Um, another thing is that uh, this quest is one of those quests where you are only guaranteed a drop after you defeat Kiskirita, so no box drops or anything like that. And um, it's random as well, you can actually get like one or two, I've got two at max at the end. I've also got the random drops during the uh, the quest, like for example right here and in the beginning of the uh, the, the quest, like uh, Pluto's bone would come and drop on top of her and an egg will drop, so uh, it's possible that you can get um, multiple drops in this quest, but you're, also, you're always guaranteed one Kisukirita at the end of the quest. So um, the monsters that I brought, I brought Lucifer, I brought King from uh, Nanatsu no Taizai, I brought uh, Magumeru, a quest monster, and I also brought Chip and Dale. Now, for some reason, Chip and Dale is like number one for this quest. Uh, I, I, I don't, I'm not saying that I disagree too much, but I don't think, I, I'm pretty sure top five, yeah, but I don't think, I don't think top one, no. I don't, th I don't think he's number, they're number one for this quest. Uh, they don't have anti-damage wall, that's the that's the thing why I don't put them on top, but they do have a pretty good bump combo for this quest. Uh, their strike shot is also really good, and plus, I, I mean, they have anti, uh, anti, uh, what do you call it, um, anti-block. So, uh, they're not bad, but I, I wouldn't put them number one. Game with puts them number one for some reason, I think it's just for the, uh, the Mickey Mouse Club, I don't know. Uh, Lucifer, probably not the best monster to bring for this quest because of the blocks, but... I do love her bump, uh, her bump combo for this quest because you can actually chain it with uh, Magma here. So as you can see, Magma's uh, bump combo is to copy the bump combo. So I actually really like the um, the bump combo. Uh, what do you call it? the the what do you call it? the duo? Those two, Magma and Lucifer. I, I really like that. And then of course you can just do this. You can copy everyone else's um, bump combo as well. So King hit Magmel, copy, and then hit Lucifer, do some pretty big damage. So and not only that, Lucifer has defense down, and she has the barrier to protect herself from um, this attack that Kisukiri does. It's like a shotgun blast, and it does a pretty decent amount of damage. But other than that, I think Magumeru is really strong because of their uh, bump combo, the copy. Strike shot is whatever, but they also have Pierce, anti-block, anti-damage wall, so I think Magmeta is probably a top 5 monster for this quest. King, um, I mean he has both anti-damage wall and anti-block, uh, so I mean, why not? And he's a Pierce, so he can get past their monsters, hit some bum combos. I think King is great here as well, plus his strike shot is really awesome. Bum combo, uh, probably, you know, arguably, um, you can argue about his bump combo and everything, but I still like it. Uh, also, what I love about this this collab, the OST. They they make it sound like a villain OST from Disney, and not only that, they mix up the um, uh, the Monster Strike OST as well. I love it. Like, whoever created this OST for this collab is amazing. I'm pretty sure it's the same person that makes the the OST for the entire game, but this OST is super good. Like this Disney villain beat, right? I love it. And then it goes back to Monster Strike. It's just awesome. So, okay, so we're at the final stage. I didn't get my strike shots up, dang. Oh, I'm actually quite surprised I got here so fast. Boom. It's a very easy quest. Again, uh, just focus on anti-damage, oh, anti-blocks and you're good. And try to have some uh, pretty good uh, uh, bump combos as well. So 
but boom boom. If I had uh, Dale, Chip and Dale as a strike shot, I would have basically attacked every single monster and then meteors would come out. Alright, so I dodged that. So again, Lucifer, not the greatest, but um, also because of her strike shot, she I, I wouldn't really consider a top monster for this quest. Her strike shot, uh, obviously she tells everyone, yo, move around, but um, all the other monsters, all their anti-blocks is with Gage, so they're not going to get anti-block when uh, when they're sh when they shoot out with Lucifer's strike shot. So uh, that's the unfortunate thing about Lucifer's strike shot. But I mean, it still clears mobs, which is good. That's the that's the good part. See, as you can see, they're not going through uh, the blocks, which sucks. But we cleared some of the mobs, so um, we're just gonna go ahead and do this because Lucifer is up there. We want to get that bum combo. Boom. And this, the oh, the final OST song. Again, it sounds like Disney, it sounds like Monster Strike. I love the combination that they do with the OST. Again, I, I say this all the time when it comes to collabs for Monster Strike. I think they're the best when it comes to collabs. I really do. They stay they stay with the uh, the theme. They they uh the characters are, you know, they stay true to the characters. It's it's just awesome. Like I, I really love the collabs of Monster Strike and I, I hope they never stop doing this. But I don't know, like, I, I really didn't care about this collab at all, honestly, this Mickey Mouse collab. But I'm not gonna lie, this is probably one of my favorite collabs. And again, one, one of the reasons is because all the monsters are uh, dressed up as uh, Disney villains, which is really, really cool. Oh, I didn't kill. Oops. <laughs> I thought I would kill there. Guess not. Okay. Interesting. But we'll, we'll kill here for sure. Boom. Took way too many turns. I thought I would kill. But uh, yeah, it's bad. Oh, see, we got a, a random second drop. So again, you're guaranteed a drop at the end, and you can get random drops right there or during the quest. And uh, yeah, it's basically about it. I mean, oh yeah, no max luck monsters. Don't bring them. There's no point. Magamel probably. Uh, I mean, again, Magamel you can max luck, but honestly, there's like there's no point to bring other mag uh, max luck monsters. Magamel is really good because of their uh, their their bump combo because of the copy ability. That's why I bring Lucifer so that I can combo both of them together and shoot Lucifer's bump combo like twice uh, per turn kind of thing. So yeah, that's basically about it. So I'm at 46 now, almost there, halfway done. So uh, let's go ahead and look at Kiskirita villain or villain Kiskirita's uh, abilities and skills. So here we are, villain Kiskirita. Um, again, the design is amazing. I love her design. It's just so cute. Again, she's based off of Ursula, I believe. I'm pretty sure she's based off of Ursula. And uh, her bump combo is Plasma, which is not bad of a bump combo. Uh, ability, Anti-Warp, Anti-Magic uh, Circle, and SS Tan Tansurku, which is uh, SS Reducer. So her, her abilities are really good. So I think you should definitely max luck her. It would have been nice if she was pierced, but she's not. She's uh, she's balanced and she's bounced. But um, her strike shot, increased speed, power, and uh, heals HP. So yeah, Kisukiri. I think Kisukiri, uh, a villain, is definitely a monster that you want to max luck. I think she's going to be useful um, as uh, as the game progresses. So yeah, I, I really think Kisukiri is definitely a monster you need to max luck from this collab but yeah that's about it thanks for watching guys hope you guys enjoyed and of course i didn't um, max level her yet because i'm still trying to uh, max luck her but uh her stats are actually not bad at all as well so uh, yeah kisuri definitely my number one monster from this collab i mean putting aside the gotcha of course but uh, i think she's definitely one of the best better monsters from uh, collab uh, quest so yeah pick her up and uh happy striking hunting i don't know <laughs> but anyways thanks for watching guys hope you guys enjoyed and of course we'll be doing all the other disney collab quests later on so check those out once those are up later guys